Hello everybody and welcome to more set three phonics. Our sound today is going to be the sound shun. Have a go at saying the word the sound shun after me. Shun. 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 Right. This sound shun is at the end of a lot of words, and I'm going to give you some of these words put together. But before we do, let's have a look at our picture. Oh, I can see there's a trumpeter here in a very fancy red coat standing on a drum. And they're saying, pay attention, it's a celebration. Pay attention, it's a celebration. Can you hear at the end of attention, we've got that shun sound, and at the end of celebration, we've got that shun sound too. Attention and celebration. Well, I'm going to give you some more of these shun words and I want you to listen out for that shun sound. It tends to be at the end of the word. So I'm going to give you these sounds. I want you to blend them all together into a word and watch out for that last shun sound. Are you ready? K -o -n -v -a -s -a -shun. K -o -n Cotton It's a pretty tricky one. Have you put it together? Cotton con ver conversation. Conversation. Like a conversation when you talk to somebody else, and soon I'll be getting to have a conversation with lots of you who aren't in school already. Let's try another shun word. This one. Celebration. 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 Pretty tricky with all these sounds. Celebration. Celebration. Can you hear the sh at the end of celebration? And it's like the person saying on the back of our card, pay attention, it's a celebration. Okay, let's try this one. X or a shun. X or a shun. X or a shun. X or a shun. Have you got it? Exploration. You might be going on a, doing some exploration around one of the oceans, maybe the Arctic Ocean. Definitely get a lot of explorations around there. Let's try our next word. Can you put these sounds together? Tradition. 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 And we know about some of the traditional songs that we sing throughout the year, as well as some traditional games that we can play too. And I'll move on to our last one. Are you ready? I want you to put these sounds together too. At etnition. At etnition. At etnition. At etnition. Attention! Well, I hope I've got your full attention at the moment because pay attention, it's a celebration. Can you hear the shun in all those words as well? Brilliant if you can. And I can see our shun sound is made up of four letters T I O N. Shun, like in celebration. Well, we've had a go at reading, the, we've heard the sound, we've said the sound. Let's have a go at reading the sound. We will need our green cards. Okay, there are a lot of sound buttons on these cards. I want you to say these sounds and put them together into the words. You might notice some apostrophes. Do you remember that's for each syllable of our word? So for longer words, they've got more syllables, which is how many claps we can fit into the word. After we've put all the sounds together for our first word, I'll show you what I mean about the claps that are in that word, okay? But you know how this works by now. I'm going to tap the sound buttons underneath. You say the sounds and put them all together in the word. Are you ready? Oh, 
I'm going to say this last one. We've not got two sound buttons there. That's one whole sound bar. I'm just going to use my finger there. It's really tricky, these ones. Keep going with it. Are you ready? K. O. Oh. Mm. Uh, s a sh k o n v a s a sh k o n v a s a Conversation when you talk to somebody else. And can you see these little apostrophes up here? Well, if I do my clap where these apostrophes appear, conversation. Conversation. These are syllables, and each clap means one syllable. So that means, well, you tell me, how many syllables does conversation have in? You might need to count my claps. Con-ver-sa-tion. Did you count them? Well done. And that's right, four syllables in con ver So now you know what those apostrophe means, let's move on. And on some of these cards, it's got shun as a T I N O N, but we know it's just one sound and it's shun. So we don't need to, we can ignore those sound buttons. Right, let's have a go at this next long one. Are you ready? I'm going to do it one last time tapping it and then we'll go through it together. Okay, let's do it together. K O N G R A T U L A T I O N K O N G R A T U L A T I O N K O N Congratulation. Congratulation. Like you might say, congratulations, you've won a prize. Or congratulations, you've done some brilliant phonics work today, which I'm sure all of you are doing. Congratulation. And this U is a ooh, poo at the zoo sound once. It can be a bit tricky with all these alternate sounds and digraphs, but you're doing a great job. Well done. Let's try our next one. I'm going to tap these sounds. So I'm making that into one sound button. Are you ready? I'm going to read this one out now. At e n s h n. At e n s h n. Attention. Attention. You might see these two. On my complex speedy sounds poster, oh, where am I looking right now? Our two t are the same as our one t. They only make that one sound. So even though there's two t's here, we know those two letters only make one sound. That sound is t. At attention. Attention. Are you all paying attention? Oh, next one. Each sound and then blend it all together, remembering we've got our shun sound at the end. I'm going to say all the sounds now. And shun. Tradition. 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 A tradition is something you do at the same point each year or each month, something that you do regularly. You have a tradition. Uh, traditions can also be things like our festivals and celebrations. And some of you might have done some brilliant posters for our festivals and celebrations. And we might call those festivals and celebrations traditions too. Okay, 
Let's move on from traditions and on to... Ah, we've got all our words. Let me see, have I got them all? Had attention. We have, aha, I knew there was one I was missing. Okay, lots and lots and lots of sounds in this one and I'm gonna give you a clue. It's not a k, it's actually here. So ooh, even though it looks this C looks like a caterpillar k, we know really it's a s sound from our speedy sounds poster. So now you know that this one's a s, let's do the whole word. Okay, I'm going to say all of them, starting with our peculiar s, s, e, u, e, b, r, a, s, e, u, e, b, r, a, s, e, l, e, b, r, a, s, celebration. It's a celebration, like our festivals and what was it? Festivals and celebrations. We've got celebrations. So traditions, a celebration might be part of a tradition. I know the celebration of holy is a tradition in the Hindu faith tradition. Right, so we've had a read of all these words. Now it's time to do some writing. And for our shun, it can be really tricky because the words we're gonna write down are some really long words. And I'm not gonna use our Fred fingers for these words because we don't have enough fingers on one hand. We'll need to use both. So for this time, I'm gonna help you out with some of our shun words. Wait a minute, what's the sound? Shun, well done. And for some of our shun words, I'm gonna help you out with what, le what letters we'll use to make those sounds, okay? Because we can't use our Fred fingers because there's too many sounds. So. Have you got your paper and pencil? Excellent. Let's start doing some writing. To do this though, I need Fred. On my shoulder, Fred. I hope you don't fall off. And are you ready at home? We're gonna do some writing of these really long words. I'm gonna help you out by segmenting these words a bit more than I would normally. So I'm gonna say lots and lots of the sounds that are in these shun words. And that way you'll be able to write them all down. What I'd like you to write down first though is shun. Our sound of the day, T-I-O-N, shun. Can you write down shun at the top of your page? That way, when you get to the shun sound in all these words, you'll know what shun looks like. Okay, have you written shun at the top of your page? Excellent. Well, then let's write down some words. And the first one I'd like you to write down is that one that's a bit like a festival and a celebration, is a tradition, tradition. 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 Write down tradition. Like the tradition of, well, you have the tradition of Christmas or of Eid or Hanukkah. Those are all end of the year traditions. Okay. Have you written down tradition? Excellent. Let's move on from tradition and we can move on to Explore. What was it, Fred? Oh, exploration. Exploration. They were doing some exploration in the Arctic Ocean. Who was Fred? Oh, some explorers. Exploration. 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 And I know you're asking what or it is, it's or shut the door. So the or in exploration is or shut the door. Right. Oh, oh Fred, I knew you'd fall off when I went to get my whiteboard. This is some of the people who like when things go wrong in my videos. I know there's a fair few of you. So we've got tradition. Have you written exploration? Brilliant. Let's move on then to attention. Because I want you paying attention at Attention. Remember the t we're going to use. At attention. Attention. 
at action. Okay, I'm writing down the words that we're writing down so I don't forget the order that I've said them in. Transcendent exploration and attention. At attention. Attention. Okay. After attention. Well, since you've been paying such good attention, you'll know that you've paid attention because it's a celebration. Celebration. Don't forget. Celebration, where have we got? Here we go. It's our curly k, but we know it's making a s sound for celebration. 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 Pause the video and write down celebration if you've not done it already. There's some really, really tricky long words in this sound, in our shun sound. Oh, Fred. So don't worry if we're getting a bit mixed up. We'll tick or fix in a minute. So have you written celebration? Excellent. We'll move on to our last one. Conversation. I can't wait to have a conversation with you when you're back in school. Conversation. 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 Right. Have you written down conversation? Let's do some ticking or fixing then. Our first one was tradition. 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 If you. Oh. Are we on the camera? Okay. Tradition. If you got yours right and it looks like mine, well done. If not, give it a fix and then give yourself a tick. Tradition. After tradition, we had exploration. Those explorers doing that exploration. So tradition, exploration. Ex. Or. Or shut the door. Ex. Or. A. Shun. Exploration. Exploration. Give yourself a tick if your exploration looks like mine. These are some really long words now, guys, so well done if you're giving this a really good go. That's what I want. Just giving it a really good go. Okay. Are you paying attention? Well, that's good because that's our next word. Attention. Ah. T. You can see my t. Is this t? Up here, where am I? There it is, this one here. Double t. t at. E shun. Attention. If your attention looks like mine, give yourself a tick. Or if not, fix it and then give yourself a tick. Tradition, exploration, attention. Well, after that, we have our word celebration. Celebration. So I'm going to go to the other side of my whiteboard. I know it's really that. K S E U E B A S E U E B A S Celebration. Celebration. Give yourself a tick if you wrote down celebration. Like this, or fix it, and then give yourself a tick. Our last one was conversation. Conversation. K o n a, and that a uh is better letter. K o n a converse a shun. Our sound of the day is the shun that's on the end. Can you see my shun on the end here? Conversation. Conversation. Give yourself a tick if yours look like mine, or fix it and then give yourself a tick. So you should have tradition, exploration, attention, celebration, and conversation. Well done for writing down all of those really tricky shun words. Our last bit to do for our shun sound today is some speedy sounds with our shun words. So, our shun sound. 
So I'm going to hide shun in amongst my other sounds. And you know what to do if you see shun, right? You're going to give it a point or give it a wave. Are you ready? Let me get all my other sounds. I thought they were over there. They're over here. Okay. And I'm going to slide shun into our other sounds. And I want you to say all of the sounds, but see if you can say it before Mr. Brooks does, because I'm going to say them too, so we know we're saying the right ones. You ready? E. This is an E cup of tea. O. O. Shun. It's our sound of the day. It's shun. Are you giving shun a wave or a point? Shun. Right, time to hide the shun again. Let's go again. Uh. Or. Ow. It's shun. Shun. Are you pointing or waving at shun? Well done if you are. And I will see you all next time for some more phonics. See you then.